Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Mindful Moment session. This week I'm going to be looking at overwhelm, what that means, what we feel when we are feeling overwhelmed and what we can do to help ease that and counteract it slightly. So a very warm welcome to you all. We've been having the most glorious weather and it does make a difference to our mood, doesn't it? Um, and I want to just talk a little bit about emotions as well and the things that we're feeling. So what can happen is we can become very attached to how we feel. Every day we go through an array of different emotions in response to whatever is happening. And when we have a work life and a separate home life, sometimes those things can overlap. So we know that we're not just the role we are in our job. We are a person to people at home and we are a person in our own right. And sometimes life has this way of going along quite smoothly and then suddenly boom, you're inundated by so many things and overwhelm is that sense of panic in us, that sense of urgency where we have lots of things vying for our attention and lots of things that we need to do and attend to and we buy into the idea that it all has to be done all at once. So our adrenaline starts pumping, we start to feel our anxiety levels rise, we might become short-tempered and irritable, a bit snappy, our stress levels rise, our body becomes tense and we just basically get to the point where we can sometimes feel like rabbit in the headlights. So what happens is our system basically then just does this. It just freezes, it closes down and the overriding thought is I can't cope anymore, I can't do this anymore. This isn't sustainable anymore. And overwhelm is such a beautiful word, isn't it? In that description of it comes over us, it saturates us, and we can feel like we're drowning and like things are too much. So the first thing that I would suggest as a real top tip here is to start to write things down, okay? So you might not be somebody who likes to keep a long dear diary um, type entry, and that's fine, but even if it's in bullet points or even just words, but something whereby when we're feeling overwhelmed, our head space becomes very, very busy, um, and there's lots of thoughts going on, and we become, we start to feel like a like we're not being very productive. We can look like we're racing around being very busy, but kind of busy getting nothing done because it's just, oh, I've got to do that, I've got to do that, I've got to do that. And we become very sort of fragmented, split. So the process of writing things down can actually really help us to slow down and to come back together again. So it can work really well just as literally a to-do list and to help you remember rather than your mind having to remember and hold everything. But as a step further from this, I would really encourage you to kind of write two columns down. And one column can be, what is important right now? What has to be attended to right now? What is important in this moment to my day? Okay. And then the other section you can fill with all the overspilling things. So what this process helps you to do is to create a very sort of small hierarchy of what is important. And at this moment, maybe what isn't so important, what you might be able to delegate, what can wait. So that rather than this whirring pool of urgency and everything being important and um, you know a situation that has to be attended to as an emergency, so rather than this zinging level of everything's an emergency, everything is not. So the process of writing things down gets it out of our heads. It calms us in the process and it helps to give a nice visual map when we're very busy of what needs sorting right now and what can actually wait. So that's my first top tip. Down on paper in some form or another. And then to move onwards, and this is what the session is going to be about today. I really invite you to stop. So the feedback we're getting on these sessions is, I kind of know what to do. I, I recognise what you're saying. And of course, we're not reinventing the wheel here. But what we are doing is giving you the permission to stop and we're guiding you through it. So just as I am saying this, pens and papers down, phones to the side, as much as you can in whatever environment you're listening to this, just really come in to your own space 
and begin to concentrate on your breathing. Every session we do always comes back to our breathing because it is the most powerful, useful tool you have which you can influence straight away. So just as I'm speaking, just begin to concentrate on your breathing. You don't need to be changing it too much in any way. I just want you to be noticing how you are breathing. Are you breathing shallow from the chest in the upper body? And if so, can you bring it down into your belly a little bit more? And you can begin to slow your breathing. And as you are slowing your breathing, as you're breathing in through the nose, and out through your mouth, like a sigh. So as you breathe out, just a gentle sigh. Just allow yourself for the next five minutes, give yourself full permission to focus in on the session and to push your thoughts to one side, okay? We can all afford ourselves five to 10 minutes of quality time each day to slow down. And the reason why we want to slow our breathing, so all the time as I'm talking, just breathe in nice and gently and out just concentrating on my voice and what I'm saying you have permission and you deserve this time just to slow down because I can assure you that everything that that is happening in your life not every aspect of it is an emergency so you can begin to breathe some of it away and allow yourself some space so if you have not done so already you can begin to close your eyes gently as you're and out and in and out and any background noise you have because perhaps you're listening to this in a busy office that's fine we don't have to fight against anything you're hearing just allow it to become background noise if you are in your own space and it's perfectly still and silent enjoy that and come into your body so the focus is now drawing inward And it's drawing inward to how you are right now in this moment. And ask ask yourself that question in your mind's eye now to yourself, how am I? And do not let those thoughts start creeping in. Do not let them avalanche over that question as to all these things you have to do and all these places you have to be. Take a deep breath. Breathe that away. And come back to the question how am I? And I want you to ask that several times because the first time you answer it, you'll be at a superficial level. And the second time we answer it, it goes a bit deeper. And the third, fourth, fifth time of hearing yourself saying, how am I? Allows you to really reconnect with the truth of how you are right now in this moment. And right now in this moment, you don't need the solutions. Right now in this moment, you don't need all the answers. You just need to acknowledge how you are. So as you continue to breathe in and out, gently, ask that question again, how am I? And just notice any areas of tension in your body, any areas of discomfort, any pain or aches, just from the head down to the toes, a very simple, quick scanning, if you like, and see how your body is feeling and not feeling in terms of emotions right now, but sensations of the body. Are you relaxed? Are you tense anywhere? Is there, are those thoughts still trying to come back in? If they are, breathe them in. Just for the moment, breathe them away and allow yourself to relax. Allow yourself to become still. Allow yourself to engage fully with where you actually are in this moment, rather than theorizing how life is. Because when we do feel overwhelmed, we either are projecting ourselves into the future or we're thinking about something in the past. So our heads are split between this timeline of past and future and off with overwhelm it's the future it's what needs to be done what if this happens what's coming next 
just take a moment, just right here and now, to let that all go. Because we know that when we feel overwhelmed, we become overproductive, overstimulated, overtired, over everything. And these lead to feelings and signs and symptoms of burnout. And we're no use to anyone in that space. So this is time to prioritize yourself. And all it takes is these five minutes or so of you putting you on top of your own list. So if you do that writing, if you write things down, make sure on the top of that piece of paper, your name is clearly written, or maybe you might say me, because you are important in the structure and organization of everything that's going on in your life. And if you aren't well, if you aren't coping, then everything around you will be impacted by that. So we can chase things when we're overwhelmed. We feel like all the solutions are in, once I've done this, I will feel better. You can draw it right in to right now and change those thoughts and feelings. So allow any emotions to come and go. You don't need to attach themselves to you. If you're having a bad day, it's a bad day and it will pass. Your emotions don't dictate how you actually are. You can stop and do this very simple exercise of breathing deeply allowing stillness, allowing just some small amount of productive quality time for you to reconnect with how you are. So just as I begin to end this session, come back to your breathing once again. And I'd like you to breathe in for the count of four, hold for the count of four. And when you breathe out, I really want you to sigh real outward intentional sigh. So breathing in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and sigh. Just let it out. You can gently shake your shoulders if you like. And we're gonna do that once again, breathing in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and out. A big sigh, shaking the shoulders. And if you can just slowly open your eyes so that you can see me, I'm just going to move my chair back. I did this exercise before and it was really, really well received. And again, it's just about calming us down, slowing us down. And you can do this at any time. If you're in a meeting that's getting a bit heated, if you're racing from the school pickup, if something's happening with the patient, anything, you can do this with the patients as well. And that is wrapping your arms around yourself and then gently stroking your upper arms and you do this nice and gently nice and slowly and you can also just do this on somebody's arm or on your own arm or even on the back of the hand and it's just gentle stroking and what this can do is it can bypass our thoughts and just allow us to calm down to come back down from that state of emergency that we often feel when we are overwhelmed. So I invite you just to take a nice deep breath in, arms above the head, and just hold it for a moment, and then shake it and let it go. So write things down, get it out of your head, make sure you are top of that priority list, be aware of your own signs and symptoms that you are starting to feel overwhelmed, signs of irritability, not sleeping too well, feeling tense, IBS type symptoms, anxiety levels rising, all those things that are an indication that actually at the moment everything's just moving a little bit too fast and give yourself permission to slow down and I really encourage you to be honest have honest conversations with your colleagues with your family with your friends and just say I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed it's not a sign of weakness it's not an indication that everything's going wrong it's just that in that moment you need a little bit of space and it is our responsibility for ourselves to create that so thank you very much for listening we welcome any feedback as always and I look forward to seeing you again next week many thanks bye